Okay, pretty exciting. Today we're gonna to be checking out the two new fragrances from the Michael Malul and Gents Sense collaboration here. We have Terra Nova and Blue Ridge. Now there's also a third, Jet Black Enigma. That one's not new. That one was released, I believe, around this time last year as kind of a limited edition run. So I didn't pick that one up because I already have it, uh, but that one is back and I think it's here to stay like these are. So I did purchase both of these as soon as it became live on their official website. Uh, I don't have any discount codes for you or anything like that. I didn't get these sent to me for free. I just picked them up as soon as they became available. Uh, they're $140 a piece on the official website. I'll link it down below. And if you want to get some sort of discount code to save a bit of money off of that, I believe Ash has one up on his channel somewhere over there. Just go watch some of his videos and he has a code running that you can use and save a bit of money. That's the code that I use to buy these. So where do we want to start here? Uh, because you guys know I love blue fragrance styled scents. I think I want to start with Blue Ridge. Uh, now it's also, I want to note that these don't come with cellophane. However, they do have tape on the back, which I just now noticed. So you can see that's still sealed up. I haven't cheated. So I'm going to have to get these cut open and we'll get started. Wouldn't that be great if I just cut myself in the middle of doing this on camera? That would just be fun. So I do really like the presentation here as I get this out of the box. I like this style of box where the top just kind of lifts off as you saw there. And here is the bottle. So nice cool little cut on the cap there to give it a look that's a little bit unique. Uh, I've got the, the sticker on the front with, I just now noticed that as well, that. So you can do that and have fun with listening to that when you get your bottle. So it does look really, really nice. Very, very smooth, nice reflection on it. Uh, nice looking presentation here. And I have uh, freshly washed skin for this, so we're gonna get it on skin. Nice pressurized atomizer on here. And uh, let's see what it's all about. We'll give it a, a proper first impressions. And right away, it does smell very pleasant. You know, it's uh, uplifting, invigorating, fresh. This is the type of thing that would be very refreshing in the spring, summertime. I would say especially this one kind of reminds me of the invigorating feeling of spring. After you get out of a, a long, cold winter, you're just over it. You're ready for color. You're ready for just warm weather again. This is the type of scent that kind of gives you that, that positive outlook of smelling this and going like, oh, yeah, that just smells very uplifting and really quite nice. Bit of citrus off the top. Um, kind of your uh, typical woody base in here, some sandalwood, that sort of thing. A little bit of musk. So this doesn't come across like, you know, it has a bunch of ambroxan, like Sauvage or Aqua Atlantique or anything like that. So it's not piercing or overly sharp or anything like that, like you may get out of something like Sauvage. Now, when it comes to blue fragrances, does this smell like any of the other ones? Personally, I don't think so. Uh, I think people, <laughs> from what I saw online, were comparing it to YSLY EDP or saying that it, it looked like it would smell similar to that or something along those lines. I saw a couple comments like that somewhere. Personally, I don't think it smells anything like YSLY EDP. Do I think it's in the same ballpark in terms of scent style? I would say, yeah, maybe a little bit. You've got a little bit of a, a sweeter take on a blue fragrance here with this one, and that's kind of what makes Y so successful. People are gonna make the argument that all blue fragrances are redundant, and that's usually gonna come from people who don't like blue fragrances. But when it comes down to it, as long as the blue scent separates itself from others and isn't a straight up clone or anything like that, I don't really see any redundancy, and I don't see any here. All right, so we'll pull up the note breakdown here real quick, and uh, let's see what we've got. Um, Nope, breakdown. This is off the official website. We have Citron, Italian Mandarin, Black Current up top. So that's kind of where some of that sweetness is going to be coming from, the Black Current. In the mid, we have uh, Lavdanin, Ozonic Accord, and Cedar Leaf. In the base, we have Patchouli, Leather, and Sandalwood. So that's kind of what I was alluding to there in the beginning. Some of the woods you're getting here, like a nice creamy light sandalwood. Not a whole lot of leather on my skin yet. Again, this is basically just off the opening, kind of working into the mid. But ultimately, a very nice creamy base here that everything is sitting on. And again, it's not overly fresh. It's not overly sweet either. It really strikes a nice balance. This is concentrated as an eau de parfum, so I'll have to see about performance here uh, during further testing. I would imagine, given that it's 
with this type of DNA that often works really well, I would say that it's probably going to perform pretty good, but we'll have to see. Okay, let's work our way over to Terra Nova and uh, we'll see what we have here. So here's the bottle, looks pretty nice. Um, nice kind of brown contrast here uh, to the juice color, which is clear on both of them. So nice classy presentation. And again, you have your little protective cover over the front plaque, which sounds pretty nice. And it is a plaque, it's not a sticker, like I said earlier, it's a nice little plastic feeling plaque there. Uh, so let's get this one on skin, we'll spray it on the other hand, and uh, we'll see what we have here. So, again, really nice atomizers. I love pressurized atomizers, I think it really adds to the premium feel of a scent, even though for most it probably doesn't matter. Now I gotta say, I caught a whiff during my sentence, I really like this a ton. This stuff is good. Uh, patchouli bomb immediately. Smells fantastic. It's patchouli with a little bit of this like lemony zesty smell, like an uplifting smell. And I think it's done really well because when it comes to patchouli, if you push it too hard and you end up with something like Prada Amber Pore Ohm Intense, for example, which is very patchouli heavy and very sweet, that can be a little bit off-putting for people. It can be a little bit more challenging, uh, but this is balanced perfectly. Smells amazing. Now, this is gonna be a little bit more mature, I would say, a little bit more upscale, but between the two, Blue Ridge and Terra Nova, this one would definitely make the more interesting scent. This is the type of thing that would be geared more towards the enthusiast, I would say, if you're looking for something that's going to be a little bit more stand out. This is where you want to be between these two. And for me, I really, really like this a ton. It smells fantastic. It's a little bit more of that kind of mature DNA in here. You know, it really kind of goes in the opposite direction of what something like Blue Ridge would be, or for that matter, a lot of new fragrance releases here these days, which are continuing to trend more and more sweet or more and more blue. This is kind of taking a step back a few years, you know, five years, 10 years or something. And and going for something that's a little bit more traditional, but with a modern twist. I can get really excited about this. All right, let's take a look at the notes. We have bergamot, lemon leaves, and golden lotus up top. In the mid, we have uh, violet, sandalwood, and ambrox, ambroxan, I suppose. And in the base, we have black amber, patchouli, and tonka bean. So I promise you guys, I didn't look at the note breakdown before this. I didn't smell this before just now. And so again, the lemon, the patchouli, uh, very prominent, and they're easy to pick up on, which tells me that this is blended to perfection. You know, it. it it's not enough to where they stick out to the point where they're unnatural or they feel out of place. It's just everything is really silky smooth and really quite nice. And um, the mix of the violet in here is giving it a little bit of like a fresh, slightly ozonic feel, good heavy dose of amber in the base. Um, in terms of the ambroxan, it, it's not like what you think. It doesn't push this into a blue fragrance category or anything like that. Uh, so don't be worried about that. You know, it kind of gives it a little bit of a sparkle, a little bit of a brightness. And I think this fragrance here is all about the contrast and also about the balance. I mean, it's perfectly balanced. You've got a whole plethora of different types of notes and accords here, and they all work together in unison to create something that's pretty remarkable. I gotta say, between the two right now, this is definitely my favorite, uh, not for nothing. Blue Ridge, I think is really, really good, and that would be a really nice spring, summer workhorse for versatility, uh, but this is gonna be probably more so appropriate for this time of year, fall, moving into winter, and it's gonna be a little bit more interesting. Uh, just from opening to now, it's continuing to develop and change. It's not all that linear from what I'm picking up on so far. So I think this is the type of scent that's gonna keep you along for the ride. You're gonna to wanna to keep going back to it and smelling it uh, as you wear it on your skin. Now, this is Eau de Parfum as well. I would imagine just given the, the base of this one and, and just how it's made up and how it smells, I would think it would probably do pretty well in the longevity department as well. Maybe even better than Blue Ridge, although you just never really know. Skin chemistry plays a big role, but I'm definitely gonna still have both of these on my skin. Uh, after I'm done shooting the video. And again, when you smell them side by side, they're uh, 
completely different sense. So that is one thing that's nice is you don't have to worry about any sort of redundancy here if you're buying both of them at the same time. And for that matter, if you're also buying, buying Jet Black Enigma, no redundancy at all between the three. And Enigma, and again, Terra Nova, are gonna be the better suited ones for fall and winter or the cooler season if you're in the northern hemisphere right now. And so that's kind of the ones that you'll probably getting the most use out of right now. You can start really breaking out Blue Ridge in the spring and I know I'm excited to try it then as well. So I might just hold off and do a full review on that uh, when spring comes in 2023. So I think that's it for me. Uh, really, really nice fragrances, especially this Terra Nova. I mean, I could see myself wearing this a ton because I don't really have anything else that smells like this, at least off the top of my head right now. It, it really stands out. And as you could tell from my reaction there off that opening, and look at that atomizer again, that's really, really nice. Nice and punchy, has a nice impact to it. And again, it evolves a lot from that initial spray as it gets further into the dry down. So really impressive stuff, great quality, and great work on these overall. Okay, that's gonna do it for me, guys. Uh, if you wanna get these, michaelmalool.com, use the link down below. Again, I have no code, I'm not getting any kickback for this, I wasn't paid to do this video or anything like that. I was just excited to check these out and share my thoughts, and uh, hopefully you guys have yours on order. If you have, if you order them when they launch, you probably have yours already, um, but I think they're now caught up with shipping, so if you place an order now, you're likely to get it within a few days, I would imagine, um, so yeah. Good luck. Enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.